Hey everyone, it's Jeff here at Opus IVS. Welcome back to the channel. I hope each and every one of you are doing well. On today's video, I'm going to show you the importance of using the ADAS tab within the DriveSafe device before you guys get started with a pre-scan. So let's dive into it. First thing that we want to do, let's go ahead and click that DriveSafe Diagnostics tab there on the home screen. Next, let's go ahead and get that DLC cable plugged into that diagnostic port. Let's turn the ignition to the on position and let's get a battery maintainer on the vehicle and click next. Now here from the main screen, you can see that we have pre-scan there in the lower left corner and we have the ADAS tab. I like to tell everybody before you guys start the pre-scan, you guys are at the vehicle, you can see the damages. Let's identify what the vehicle is equipped with. So go ahead and click the ADAS tab. I need you guys to understand that IVS map is not VIN specific. It does tell you what the vehicle could be equipped with at the time it was built. So walking out to the vehicle, noticing the damages that are on the vehicle. I did notice that there are cameras underneath the outside rear view mirrors. The truck is equipped with adaptive cruise because there is a switch on the steering wheel. Blind spot detection, I do see the indicators in the mirror glass. Forward facing camera, I seen that up in the windshield. Park distance control, the vehicle does have on front and rear bumpers. It obviously has a rear camera because it has 360. L3 is going to be statically calibrated. L1 is going to be an initialization and or a programming event. And anytime you guys see L2, L2 is going to be a dynamic calibration. So with the L1s and the L2s, understand that we can perform that for you on the drive safe. So you don't need to call the guy. You don't need to take it to the dealership. It'll be done right here on the tool for you. Underneath the target column here, you can see the three checkered flags. Those checkered flags tell you that a target is required. If you guys click that target, we give you the OE part number that you would need to perform the calibration. And also we put in the John Bean TruePoint target part numbers as well. Let's go ahead and click continue. Underneath the information column there, if you guys click the lowercase i, we tell you when the system needs to be calibrated based on the damages to the vehicle or the repairs that you will be performing to the vehicle. You guys can see here underneath the status column that you have five different options. If you guys had targets for the adaptive cruise and you guys needed to get that calibration, you'd go ahead and change that to request. Go ahead and click the order calibration, enter your first name, a cell phone number, and some additional information for the technician that will be calling you to perform the calibration for you there at the shop. Once you guys have the additional information filled out, cell phone number and your first name, you go ahead and click the purchase button and someone will be calling you guys in about 10 minutes. I don't want to get ahead of ourselves, but this is how you would order a calibration if you needed. Now, going back prior to doing a pre-scan, this is what we're going to need to do. Go ahead and fill out the status column to match the damages or repairs to the vehicle so everything looks nice and neat inside the report for yourselves the insurance companies, and the customer. So because this vehicle was hit in the front, I am going to need to calibrate the 360 camera, and I'm also going to need to calibrate the adaptive cruise. So let's go ahead and get everything filled out accordingly, again, so it's nice and neat and everything matches. Once you guys have this information filled out in the status column, go ahead and hit the exit tab. Go on over to your pre-scan, click continue, and you guys are going to be ready to rock and roll. You guys are going to see when we get to the Opus IVS portal, how when we change that status column, everything matched on the pre-scan report. So thanks for watching, everybody. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. And until then, take care.